first is Iceland's Magnus Ver Magnusson. He's the defending champion. Home territory could be crucial if this 20th century Viking is to retain his title. Harriet Badenhorst is the first South African to take part in World's Strongest Man. His credentials are impeccable. He's a world record holder in powerlifting. Canada's Greg Ernst thrives on tests of human power and strength. His greatest ever feat in lifting two tons of live oxen. Ilka Kinnanen, the first of Finland's competitors, has all the physical qualities for success, but he lacks experience. By contrast, 48-year-old Ilka Nemisto is a veteran of Olympic Games, and this will be his fifth strongest man competition. Ted van der Pader of Holland is seven feet tall. This gentle giant bids to become Holland's first ever world champion. James Perry of the United States weighs an incredible 400 pounds. He competes in memory of his friend and training partner, O.D. Wilson. Back after an absence of two years, Sheffield's Jamie Rees is determined to regain the title he won in 1989. Boschman Gary Taylor's record is impressive, a Los Angeles Olympic weightlifting medal. So a contrast in physiques. Interesting to see how low Ted van der Pader can be. Seven feet tall, but he's off to a very fast start indeed. just struggling a little bit and there's a problem on the right hand side that's desperate for the Dutchman but Gary Taylor continues and it looks as though it could be a fast time indeed it is 35.27 but what on earth happened to Ted van der Parra we might be able to see that again oh there's the starting block and the wheel rises on it and he gets dragged backwards he goes off in disgust and there's going to be a few choice words here. And we fish upon him. I'm sure we don't need a translator. He's obviously very with the starting block and the lorry being stuck. So Ted van der Parra has been given a third attempt to make amends. There is a pacer in the other lane to try and push Ted van der Parra on towards a good time. He needs somewhere in the region of 38 seconds to beat James Perry. Full of determination now. The clock ticking down, but he's very close to that line. He's squeezing every ounce of energy out of those legs and his back, and 36.46. He's got it, and he knows it. So maximum points for Ted van der Parra. A great start. James, there's lava, roads. Had a bit of difficulty with the officials this morning trying to drive those spikes into the ground. But the starting blocks are there. That's so the competitors can get off to a cracking start. And both are going well. Contrast in styles. Torsen saying very low. But Greg Ernst is leading at the moment. That's the course completed. 40.80 seconds. A good start for the Canadian. But Torsen is struggling. He reaches. That will be marked. And that will count later on in terms of distance. HT. But there seems to be a problem with that right hand side. Gary Taylor. That's something Jamie Reeves would love to do. He prepares for the next heat, and next to him, Ilka Kinnan in Finland. This should be an interesting competition. Certainly Reeves the stronger of the two, but as we've come to learn during this contest, this right hand side is the more difficult lane. Reeves is going well. Over 20 stones body weight. Tremendous power in the legs. The breathing now becomes difficult. And Jamie Reeves just struggling a little bit. Ilka Kinnanen as well. Can they finish? Come on, Jamie. Oh, well, he thinks it's easy. 52.45. Good time. Kinnanen finishes as well. That was a good competition. Look at this. James Perry of the United States, the biggest man of all. His physique almost blotting out the skyline. He's up against Herod Badenhorst of South Africa. And for Perry, it's almost a case of the irrepressible force against the immovable object. And I'm sure Perry and Badenhorst are going to get those trucks moving. Good technique from Badenhorst. And Perry just leaning. He's leaning forward. 400 pounds of body weight. And that's what's moving the truck, as well as great strength in his legs. 
Baden Horse going well on the far side, 37.10. And Perry will finish 40.53, the first man to finish on that right hand side. Exhausted, but delighted with the time. 